Justin Germano from DragonBlogger.com here, and I'm here talking about these ANC active noise cancellation wireless earbuds that I've been reviewing and testing from Diplay. So these earbuds, which fit in this charging tray, of course, comes with this little charging case, which is nice and compact, have up to 32 hours of listening time, eight hours of constant music, but 32 hours of standby before you have to drop them in the case to charge them. The case itself has its own battery and so once you plug the case in with USB-C, which is nice, the case itself can just charge them about five or six times completely without you having to plug the case in to charge them. I like that these earbuds are 9.2 millimeter drivers. They produce a good sound. And I really like um, just how well they work when I go for walks, jogs, various things like that. I'm actually gonna show you how the mic sounds too later in the video. I'll do a splice in video with my iPhone showing you how the microphone works on these. But for now, I'll show you how they look. First, when you get the package in the mail, it's nice and you know tightly wrapped in a box, well protected. It comes with the charging case. It comes with a USB type C cable, which is really impressive because I like USB type C. It's faster for charging and everything like that. Comes with two different bags of different earbud types, the orange ones and then the black ones. And then the earbuds come inside the case. So when you get it, you just simply open up the case. You see the earbuds in there. You'll want to take the earbuds out at the same time because they pair either independently or exactly at the same time. So you can use them in stereo mode where you just put both your earbuds in both ears and you listen to music at the same time. Or you could take one earbud out only and then have it in one ear or the other. And then you could use it as basically a Bluetooth headset where you're just listening in one ear or you're communicating or talking in one ear. So you can use them stereo or active mode. Both of them act as primary. So whichever one you take out, if you take that one out only, only that one will pair. So if you don't take them out both at the same time, you may end up with just one of them pairing instead of both of them pairing your phone at the same time. And if that happens, just put them both back in the case and then take them both out at the same time again. So I'm gonna show you that if you take them both out, which I'm doing right now, I got them both out. If you put them in your ear fast enough, you hear them say pairing connected, or you'll hear them say waiting for pairing, open up your phone, pair the Bluetooth, and then you'll hear them both say connected. Make sure you hear them say connected out of both ears. You don't hear it, hear it come out of both ears, drop them back in, pull them both back out again. Make sure you hear them both say connected. So when you first get these earbuds, I wanted to call out that, look at the pins on these charging stations where you drop the earbuds in. When you first get these earbuds, you'll notice there's gonna be one tiny little red cap on each of these pins that'll block them from charging. So make sure, I mean, they're really small. So make sure when you first get the ANC um, earbuds that you go in and you pick that little tiny red cap off those wiring pins. There's only one on each side, but those will prevent them from charging. So make sure you do get those off. They're really small. They're hard to notice at first. So that's just a thought to point out. Find the earbud tips that work best for you. There's various sizes. I found I had to go down a little bit in tips. You can see the these are the default ones that came with it, which worked out pretty well, but I wound up going in with the black tips instead. Um, um, I wanted to go with slightly smaller size, although I went with these tips. So I tried different ones to find out which works. These I left in just because they show up better on the camera, but I actually prefer the black tips and the smaller ones, but the orange just made them look better. The other thing about these is they do have several different modes. On the left earbud only, you've got your ANC off, which is active noise cancellation off. You've got your active noise cancellation on and in between this called transparent mode. So when you tap it just like this to tap the modes, you'll hear, you'll hear the mode change automatically. I have it in transparency mode like now, right now. And it's really hard to describe how cool transparency mode is. What transparency mode does is it basically takes all the outside noise and feeds it into your ear. So that way you don't miss hearing anything outside. Like if you're basically listening to music, but you need to be able to hear like a car coming up behind you, like jogging on the side of the road. You need to be able to hear somebody talking, yet you want to have your earbuds in and be able to listen to music. The transparency mode will basically take any outside sound and also put that in your ear at the same time. That way you don't miss anything. You don't accidentally get alerted. You know, something doesn't sneak up on you. Uh, the big thing is for people who jog or do a lot of walking on the side of a road, sometimes cars can be quiet now, especially electric vehicles, very quiet. You tend to not hear the outside world, especially with ANC on, which actually blocks and mutes outside sounds. It basically listens to outside sounds 
and diffuses them. And I tested that with a fan that does a good job. But transparent mode's good, I'd say, as a good safety feature where you need to hear something outside. You don't want to be completely surprised. You need to be able to hear something going on around you. So that's where I would say the transparency mode is actually really cool. So you tap the left ear button to switch through the different modes, active noise cancellation, on, off, and transparency mode, which is kind of in between. It should go ANSI on, ANSI off, transparency mode, but instead it goes like ANSI off, transparency mode, ANSI on. So it just, just no transparency modes in between. The right ear button is your play pause by tapping once. Now, if you long press on the right ear button, it fast forwards the track. If you long press on the left ear button, it goes backtrack. Just know that you, it's very touch sensitive. So just a quick tap starts and stops the, the music on whatever last player you left on. And just know you have to hold the tapping. It's actually pretty clever that there's no actual rubber button to press. You simply just touch tap it and it works. I actually really pressed with these earbuds. They're a little on the pricier side, but considering the sound quality is really good, and I've listened to Bose earbuds, I've listened to $9,900, $20 earbuds. They're really on par. They're one of the best wireless earbuds that I have actually reviewed. They are Bluetooth 5. They have really good range, although usually not too far between your phone and your earbuds. Um, overall, I've been listening to them a lot. Like, I would have to say four and a half weeks of listening to music every single day, various walks, various types of music. I like the range. I like, you know, electronic music. I listen to EDM. I listen to, you know just about everything, trap, classical, everything you could possibly, you know, think of to test the various ranges of highs and lows. And overall, I'm pretty impressed with these earbuds. So this is me using the microphone on the Diplay wireless earbud. So I set it in mono mode. I only have one of them in. This is me using the mic from it. So you could hear how the microphone quality sounds. And you could judge for yourself if you think it has a decent mic. This is a test from the mic, walking away from the foam to make sure I have tons of distance and confirm it is using the mic on the headset. This is a test of the mic of the Diplay earbuds. I'm now in the other room from my phone, nowhere near my phone. This is a mic test from the Diplay earbuds. Mic test, mic test, mic test. Yes, the mic test. Now coming back to my phone. So as you can hear the sound quality from the voice memo app and the camera app, the mic quality is not too bad on the tips. But the first thing I want to say is they get rid of the orange tips right away. Don't use the orange tips that come. Trust me, you're going to want to use the memory foam tips. They're, even though they're a little thin, they look a little small, the memory foam tips are a little better. They are memory foam tips. Uh, originally, for some reason, I had a baggie of of tips that came with it that are not, but it looks like they include black memory foam tips in the second version that I received. And the memory foam tips are actually really excellent. They do better block out sound. So you can see these tiny little memory foam tips that come in three different sizes as well, but it also came with some other tips. I'm not quite sure why one model came with regular tips and by the second model came with memory foam tips. I bet you the brand changed out to include memory foam tips between the first model and the second model I received. I'll confirm with them, but the memory foam tips are really, really good. Get rid of the orange tips and put the memory foam tips on. You won't regret it. I will just say that the first pair I did receive had a defect in the ANC, but that did not show up in the second um, the second pair. So that was a one-time thing. I wouldn't worry about it. Just know if you find what I did where ANC on kind of doesn't filter out the noise well enough, it actually almost is like the transparent mode is stuck at ANC on is what I think is what happened because now that I tested the three different modes with the first pair I got ANC on where it said ANC on it was still acting like it was in transparent even when transparent or ANC on so that was just something I noticed with the first pair a uh, second pair no issues uh, just something to point out again these are the die play wireless TWS earbuds highly recommended I am impressed with them and you can see the link below ask any questions I'll be using these for a while Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.